GPP AUD hit our stop loss. However, our our long term short that we forecasted last week is is still um, valid. Okay. Um, let me update the new setup. Okay. Um, we are basically making a retracement for for this for this move. Okay. So let me check if we are in our sell zone. Okay, we have uh, we have tested this uh, 61.8 FIP level. So it's right in our sell box like this. Okay, so we just need to find what structure uh, we are in. As you can see, it retraced right on our trend line. Okay, we are in a corrective structure. So we'll be looking forward to taking a sell trade from there. Okay, so it would be nice if we get a structure that looks like this. Okay, from there, we get some sorts of consolidation or any sideways move like this okay for now we'll set this zone as as our target but if we get another corrective structure we we hold our trade all the way down okay so this looks like um after this impulse wave this looks like a apc apc correction okay so on a lower time frame okay this this was four hour on one hour we are looking for okay what we're looking for it looks like it's already starting to form okay any sideways move like this one from there from there we can take an entry like this okay, so this is our confirmation for for our sell trade okay, our target is all the way down there i'll make my stop um outside this trend line and above this uh previous high so this is what our trade looks like. Okay. Like this. Okay, I'm going to put this long term forecast right there. Okay, on AUDJPY, we had this trade last week, um, and it hit it hit our target. Um, if you saw this momentum, it would be it would have been wise that you did not exit your trade because when it's pushing like this, it's most likely going to break um, the trend line. Okay, so um, having this move broken this trend line, we we may disregard this long term this long term entry point okay for now unless uh the market jumps back unless it comes back to to this corrective structure but for now we may disregard this entry we may just move this to there okay so if you're still holding this trade um you should just move your stop to break even and and then hold for long term if you have more than one entries you may take partial profits uh, within the structure but our long-term target is all the way down there down to this um, 66 zone so this is what it looks like if you exited your trade you may just want to wait for a corrective move a corrective move outside 
outside this trend line like this and then take another entry if we break out of that of that corrective move okay. so this is what we we are looking for this week okay let me make this uh, smaller let me make a new line AUD, AUD USD. We we also need to modify the corrective structure, but the up move is still valid because we had our buy zone um, right there. And you, as you can see, that um, the market opened with a gap, so it's why we have uh, this move below our our buy zone it's because of the momentum we got on market open okay uh the only difference with the structure is that uh, we have this flat correction this apc and then we can see that um as the market was unfolding it was creating another another three wave move um okay this is why we are not invalidating our our last week's um forecast okay so we just need to adjust the trend lines this one goes there okay because this is where our corrective structure begins okay so this is what it looks like uh we no longer need these blue lines because market has already passed okay as for our our entry for this week we need this inner trend line okay it's a bit far but i could say it's a, a much safer entry because this is where we had our buy zone so it would be nice uh if the market could maybe give us a consolidation somewhere there then we can continue to the upside okay so for now or uh, you can just wait for the market to break that trend line okay then okay like this let me check uh, the fibonacci expansion to see how far this correction has expanded okay you see it turned exactly at 127.2 and right now we're at 78.6 so for now anything can happen at 78.6 so we need to check if this um, this might still uh, come down for one more move. Okay, if we get a corrective structure, okay, let me clean up. If we get a corrective structure uh, that is showing one more down move, we would need to let that move go, unless you're planning on taking a uh, Okay, we might get another move down to test this trend line, but our interest will be on this long term long term buy. So if it goes down, it's it's giving us a much better entry. You just adjust your trend line like this and then get a cheaper, a cheaper buy. I like this. Okay, but for now, let's just wait outside this trend line. We will update as as the market unfolds. And this is what we are looking for. This long-term sell is still valid. So if this corrective structure gets invalidated and that will happen if we, if we break this low. If we break this low, 
So I mean this corrective structure is now correcting for for more downside because as you can see that we have this bearish impulse move <clears throat> excuse me we have this bearish impulse move so if we break below this low it will mean that we are continuing with this with this down move okay but for now let's focus on on this one one trade Euro AUD uh, is moving nicely uh, in our direction. Uh, at the moment, we are running 178 pips and we're still going higher. So, um, since we're at this, it looks like we, we are at a resistance, a resistance level, but uh, as our forecast, we, we're just gonna hold as it goes higher so if we get a corrective structure okay a bigger corrective structure like this it will mean that we we are still going we are still going up okay maybe on the lower time frames it might pull you down a bit but let's trust our our targets at the moment your stop loss should be should be at break even okay Okay, let's go to Euro USD. Euro USD, I did this forecast um, two weeks back, the two weeks back uh, on the 19th of August. Okay, and we were still waiting for, for the market to give us this outer correction because after we break out of this, I was not, I was not convinced since we haven't broken uh, the previous low the previous high i mean okay and then finally we we did get this corrective structure as we were expecting and then it broke up with this uh huge momentum to the upside okay so in, at the moment we we should be running about about 70 pips and your stop loss should be at break even by now if you are paying attention and then as you can see we are starting to form this corrective move and euro usd usually doesn't form like uh big corrective structures after such impulse so as you can see what it did there and there so this corrective move might be enough for for another push so you should pay attention to that Okay, I think that on the 30 minutes time frame um, is perfect to monitor this trade. Okay. So I think on your mobile, just have just have your trend lines going like this. Okay, and then I think here yeah, you'd need to have a zone. Okay, so if this trend line breaks, um, be ready to join this trend move okay because we're still going higher okay same thing on the dollar index the dollar index should be confirming this move okay Let's see yeah the dollar index agrees with that uh, bullish move okay and you can see it turned exactly at this zone that we were anticipating on the previous week, even though it had us in this uh, consolidation, but it's still a, a three-wave move, A, B, C. So this move should take us all the way down there. And while it's doing that, it should take uh, Euro USD all the way up to our target. Okay. Uh, this is just a gap when the market opened. We cannot take this as a rejection. It's not rejection. Okay, let me go to four hour and see if we have anything different. Uh, no, nothing. So um, we might just get a sideways move, a sideways move, which is good if you missed the first entry on EURUSD. 
and then you can take another cell. Okay, um, GBP ends at D. Uh, at the moment, it doesn't look like we have a trade, but let's see. Uh, last time I updated this pair, we were expecting this to drop uh, as to complete this A, B, C, then we can, then we can go up. But we did not get this, we did not get this uh, drop. It decided to continue going up. But let's see. It looks like uh, the best trade that we might get is around this level there. So let's just see this retracement. Okay, it's, it's at 61.8 which is a good uh, sell zone. But I would not be surprised if it comes back to this level, okay? Because I tested this level on, on, a, on a higher time frame. Let's see if I do this. Okay, because you see this level is a 61.8 off this, off this impulse move, okay? Because we are looking to catch both uh, impulse waves okay let me show you what I mean by that okay uh, first we need to complete this one two three which is um, a lower degree and then on a higher degree it's a whole one two three which is gonna expand um, further down than this one okay but for now let's catch this uh, this move and then later we can try and see if we're still going to get this uh, bigger move okay let's see your entry will be based on this on this trend line okay unless you get a, a structure that is showing uh any signs of reversal because since we already in our in our cell box we will okay like this if we if you get a structure looking like this you can start taking your cell okay outside if you get another one you you continue taking your cell up until this level down here okay not that it's gonna stop at that level but it's it's a safe it's a safe target okay like this Okay, let's say we're taking it from there, like this. Okay, but a safe entry would be outside. It might be a late, slightly late entry, but it's safe because it's possible for this to extend there and then continue going up. Okay, we have GPP USD. Um, okay, this is a forecast I did some time back. Uh, okay, since we've broken this high, um, anticipating this pair to move higher to this level 
update like this. But uh, the first entry, the first good entry was, was from this retest, okay? From this retest, because you would have had a zone drawn like this, okay? That was your first good entry, but it's possible that this can give us a running flat, okay? We can get a running flat like this. Uh, running flats would have to come and test this the second time. So if it does that, that's when you can take your buy trade, okay, all the way to this level up there, okay. Uh, it might take longer, it might take longer, you'll get uh, consolidations along the way, okay. So your trade would look something like this, okay. The risk reward is good, it's 5.53, uh, okay. But um, as you're holding this trade, bear in mind that on the longer, on the longer term, on the bigger picture, we are still in a downtrend, okay but I'm anticipating this uh, bigger downtrend to correct up until this level, okay? So if you get a running flat or an expanding flat, you, you, take, you take your trade, okay? But maybe on a lower time frame, let's check one hour. Okay, let me hide this. Okay, on the one on the one hour, it's promising that uh, it's going to come back to this level. Because you can okay, let me put in thirty minutes so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, because we we had this move and it's starting to consolidate. So from this consolidation, it might come to this level. But I'll only be interested in taking a buy trade because we have this have this impulse move okay so let me clean up okay so this is our this is what our trade looks like And next we have US dollar kit. Okay, USD kit took me out on break even because you remember uh, last week I said uh, take your entry after after we break this low and we did break this low. Okay, we broke that low and we went in profits um, for six, 60 pips and we initially we risked about 35, 35 pips. Okay, so somewhere around there, I moved my stop loss to break even, which was taken out by this retracement. But this sell trade is still valid. Still valid. Like this, because we, we have something that looks like um, it's forming a three wave move. Okay, so we have, we are anticipating this A, B, and C, okay, on a higher degree. But on a lower degree, what I'm seeing is this A, B, C. We might get something that looks like this. So for now, we are just in a corrective structure, lower degree corrective structure. So we can just move this and then we can have the, our entry trend line looks like this. Okay, it looks like this. Because you can see we are still in this, we are still in this area, which we were 
interested on previously. So our entry might look like this. You can look on, on the lower time frame. Okay, on the lower time frame, you, you have what looks like a, tri, a triangle. And you know on when you have uh, a combination of corrective structures, the triangle is always the, the last corrective structure. You cannot have um, another corrective structure after the triangle because you have this zigzag A, B, C, and then now you are having this one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wait. Uh, oh, this is a joint. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So your five is is there. Okay. Let me label it. So you have uh, a zigzag A B C, and then you have um, this A. B, C, D, and E. Okay, but since it's a it, it's a joint uh, corrective structure, but the high degree it's going to be W, X, uh, Y, like this. Okay, and then we have to change the degree to be higher than uh, these two. For changed, we're still continuing with our last week's trade. Um, the second entry is about 78 pips. And the first entry, if you're still holding, it should be about um, about 300 pips. Okay, we are, we are targeting uh, 103.5. So this, should this consolidate in this area, it will be a confirmation for more, for more downside. Okay, and your second entry should be should be at break even by now. Okay, let's see. The next pair. Next pair is USDZA. Okay, USDZA. Uh, was playing out nicely when the market closed, but we opened with a gap. Let me go to one hour. We opened with a gap, uh, which is closing at the moment. Okay, it's this gap, but the trade is still valid. As you can see, it has not touched our, our stop loss. We should still be holding. Okay, and uh, if you haven't entered this trade, okay, I just need to adjust this trend line. Okay, as you can see, the trend line is still valid. If you have not entered this trade, you might look for, okay, it, it just pushed in profits. Okay, the second entry should be about there because our one hour candle has closed outside the, the trend line. Okay, this trade is still valid. Like this. Okay, we just let's just check the the retracement for this wave. Okay, we are just about seventy eight point six and eighty eight point six, so our trade is still fine. Okay, let's see if we get to our target. Next pair is gold. Let's see gold. Okay, gold is still pushing nicely uh, to our targets. At the moment, we are running 368 pips. Hopefully, this is just a correction, not a reversal, because we have not broken this high. Let's look at this level. Okay. At the moment, let us keep our eyes on this level. This could be a correction, but if we if we get a structure that is showing that is showing us um, signs of reversal, 
Okay, if we get a corrective structure that looks like this, it will mean we are going back down. But at the moment, I'm anticipating this to be just a corrective structure, just a bigger correction to the upside. Okay, because we have this impulsive move, we can just check uh, how far we expect it to retrace. Okay, at the moment it's uh, around 38.2. So we should be we should be looking at this zone. This zone. So the invalidation point will be around below 78, 61.8. Okay. So for now, let's hold our buy because we, we just broke our resistance, which is now support. It should go back up. Okay, next pair is Euro, Eurocat. Okay, let's look at Eurocat. Uh, on Eurocat, you should be on profits. Uh, I sent this setup later last week. Okay, let's uh, correct these trend lines. Somehow they moved. They should be like this. Okay, our entry was based on this one hour candle close outside the trend line. Okay, at the moment we are having a corrective structure. Uh, it looks like um, head and shoulder of some sort. Okay, but we'll be looking at this as a flat. Okay, A, B, C. Okay, hopefully it's just a flat correction and then we can continue with our up move. So if you are not in this trade, you can look at your lower time frames. Okay, this is now 30 minutes. Uh, you can just have a zone somewhere at this area because it might be coming to test that level. Let's see how how far back this uh, wave should retrace. Okay, so since this is forming what looks like a head and shoulder, let's give it some breathing space to, to retrace uh, to somewhere around 61.8. Okay, so this could look like this. Okay, so this is our corrective structure. Uh, this is already 30 minutes. I wouldn't recommend um, going on a lower time frame, lower than this. So you can just wait for this corrective structure to play out and then you can you can take your entry. Uh, if you entered last week, you should uh, move your stop loss to break even. Okay, so this has not changed. Uh, the next pair is... See, AUD NZD has this interesting structure that uh, I would like us to look at. Let's see our our entry and exit strategy. Okay, what I what I'm seeing on AUD NZD is. is the ending diagonal, okay? It's this, but it's a bearish uh, ending diagonal. So let's get let's go to our chart and I'll show you what I'm seeing. Okay, we have uh, what looks like this, and we have already broken out of the ending diagonal, so it might be safe for for entry. And I'm saying it's an ending diagonal because on the lower degree, on the lower degree, okay, on the lower degree, we have what looks like a five wave move. Okay, this five wave move goes like this one, two, um, three, four, and then our five is, is this ending diagonal there. Okay, you can even place our four um, right there so that uh, this becomes our corrective structure, this expanding, this expanding move. 
Okay. Um, not sure if I should go in detail of this ending diagonal, but let me make this um, an educational analysis. Okay, I'm going to put in my zigzag. Okay, it's loading, I think. let's see if it's in there okay it's in there i think we just need to change the settings okay let me change the deviation to to one okay, even if it's it it's at one it's it's still not helping okay let me just count the waves manually okay let me put in the the MACD so we can check if we have any any divergence. Okay, uh, let me go back to the four hour because when you're checking for divergence, uh, try to make your MACD to have um, as less waves here as possible because you just need to check um, between two impulse impulse waves between wave three and wave five. Okay, so you want it to look like this. So you see where your wave three is ending, it's ending there. And then it's going down like this. Okay, luckily we do have we do have our divergence. Okay. Our MACD is going down while the while the price action is going up. Okay, we've been stocking this pair for quite some time. Um when you check on our charts history, you'll see that in the past I did have I did have um, a detailed analysis for this mm -hmm. for for this structure, okay? Because we had we had this we had this move and then we had a corrective structure like this. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, we had this corrective structure, uh, which was then combined. We had another another structure. We have another combination and then we have another structure. Okay, so this would be a W, X, Y, X, Z move. Okay, because you have this. Okay, let me use a different pen. Okay, you have this as your APC, your first APC, which is a flat. Okay, you have your joint and then you have this as, your, as a zigzag. You get another joint and then you get another zigzag like this. So this would be, um, on the lower degree it's APC, but on the higher degree it's just W. Okay, you, your joint will always be X, and then you have your zigzag, which will be Y. Your joint is also X, and then you have another zigzag, who, which will be wave Z. Okay, you can check this uh, on, on your textbook, you will see under uh, triple three co corrective structures, you will find something like this. Okay, but our interest is at this five wave move where we are looking to take our trade. Okay, so we, okay, we have divergence, which is a confirmation for our trade. So if we can go to one hour. Okay, after this five wave move, we are looking for a, a correction, an APC correction. So uh, by checking this uh, with the Fibonacci retracements, okay, I'm anticipating that this will come and test this level, this 50%. Okay, not that I'm ignoring all the other levels, just this, just that this one looks relevant as it's showing um, that it it has been holding in the past. So in this trade, we might be getting an APC move. Okay, okay, we might be getting an APC move like this. When I'm doing a forecast, I always anticipate an APC move. Not that it's always gonna give me an APC move, but it's the simplest form of, of a corrective structure. 
it can be a w x y w x z it can be it can be anything okay so for this trade you can just refer to our entry exit document for for where you would put your entry okay your first entry would have been there okay i only noticed this move later but since we're having this uh pullback i could say it's still safe to take the trade okay so on the lower time frame we can just check this leg and see if we can still catch it let's go to 30 minutes okay on 30 minutes um this is having five wave five waves like this but on a lower degree okay, let me change color okay we have five waves on a lower degree like this okay having five waves um could mean we might have a zigzag because a zigzag is a five three five correction because once we have this five um and we have developed this three one two three like this which is also in this degree okay because we have five three we can anticipate to have five waves okay we can anticipate to have five waves like this okay i need to change this okay so we can look to have five five more waves okay but in terms of the expansion we might have um a one six one expansion or a one two one two seven okay so i need to pull my fibonacci expansion okay so yes exactly as i i assumed okay we have one six one eight so we might have that one six one eight expansion okay the 30 minute candle just closed let's wait for the one hour and see what we what we have there okay so you can maybe check for a resistance level where you can look for your entry and since we still look bullish you can look around 88.6 and 78.6 that would be even a better entry for you because your stop loss needs to be above wave five okay usually when you when you have a, a ending diagonal wave five you should get a really strong move to the downside so your trade should look like this okay that's all uh for now i'll update other pairs during the week thank you